We're a couple of weeks out from the start of the NFL draft and the Broncos only have five picks, which means they're all the more important. Today, we'll give you a couple of names to watch for on the offensive side. Hello, welcome into the studio. I am Phil Milani alongside Sidney Jones and Eric Dalala. Uh, guys, no first or second round picks, but the Broncos' first pick coming at number 67 in the third round. Sydney, uh, what are a couple of, who are a couple of guys we can uh, pay attention to? Yeah, well, well, a couple of positions that have kind of been talked about leading up to the draft here are running back and tight end. You know, looking at the Broncos' running back room, of course, you have Javante Williams. You know, they're hoping he'll be ready for the start of the season. And the team just signed Samaj P. Ryan at the start of free agency, too. But they might look to add depth in the back end of that room. And a few prospects they could look to target in the running back room are Tulane's Tajay Spears and UCLA's Zach Charbonnet. Pro Football Focus's Michael Renner has Spears going in the third round. And, you know, the past season he ran for over 1,500 yards and I think finished with a total of 21 touchdowns. And he... Throughout his career at Tulane, he averaged seven yards per carry, so he's a great option. And then NFL.com talked about Charbonnet going in the third round as well. He rushed for over 1,300 yards and 14 touchdowns last season. And, you know, the previous season had another 1,000-yard year. So those are a couple options, you know, they could look at it running back. Yeah, and Spears, maybe you're not familiar with Tulane there, but uh, he really caught fire in that Cotton Bowl last year against USC, had four touchdowns in that game. So uh, that's certainly a name to know at the running back position. Sid, you also mentioned tight end. Uh, who's a name to watch there? Yeah, well, Phil, our good friend Mike Kliss at Nine News, he reported that the Broncos have or will have hosted, you know, two tight ends um, in their top 30 visits, one of those being Luke Shoemaker from Michigan. You know, he had a great performance at the Combine and at his pro day. He's big, but he's also really fast, so he's a great option there. And then another guy is Oregon State's Luke Musgrave. He had a top 30 visit here with the Broncos, and, you know, mock drafts do have him going a little bit earlier in the second round, but you never know. Maybe he could fall into the third. And Bron Broncos fans obviously familiar with that Musgrave name. Uh, Luke is the nephew of former offensive coordinator and quarterback uh, Bill Musgrave. Eric, uh, how about you? Uh, you want to weigh in on some offensive names to watch? Yeah, Phil, a little, a little hard to project, right, when you go all the way to the third round. Who's going to be there? Who's not going to be there? Let's start at running back. I, I like that idea that Sydney brought up. Uh, Devon A. Chain from Texas A&M. He was a first-team All-SEC guy, 21 total touchdowns last year. He's a little bit smaller, Phil, 5'8", 188 pounds, but he's got 4'3 speed. He's a guy that has some high upside. Uh, you look at some of these mock drafts, maybe a guy that could go in the second, go in the third. If he falls, he could be an option, but he's a little bit of a different back than Javante Williams or a Samaj P. Ryan, so maybe he makes sense there. A couple of backs, if you look a little bit later, maybe you wait till day three. Kenny McIntosh from Georgia, Zach Evans from Ole Miss, a couple of other options. But, Phil, I also think that we're talking about these skill guys. I'm, I wonder if they're done on the offensive line. Obviously, that was a big priority in free agency. The Broncos went out and got Mike McGlinchey. They got Ben Powers. They added Kyle Fuller. Um, but, you know, do they want more depth at tackle or guard or center, of course? Uh, we've heard Sean Payton say that Lloyd Cushenberry, they expect him to be the starter. But if you're interested in a younger guy, Joe Tittman from Wisconsin, he uh, is a top-rated center by the Athletics Dean Brugler. He's probably going to go a little bit earlier, but if he falls, maybe he's a guy you could watch. What's interesting is he's more of a wide zone player, so you'll have to see if you can uh, make him fit in what you're doing here in Denver. But again, Joe Tipman from Wisconsin, an option. If he's not there, first-team All-American John Michael Schmitz from Minnesota could be another good choice if you're looking to round out the interior of your offensive line. You go up north when you're looking for offensive alignment. That's right. The Big Ten knows how to do it. <laughs> Tipman is six foot six, 313 pounds. So uh, we know that uh, Sean Payton likes these bigger, more athletic guys. Uh, could be an option there. And then, of course, uh, he's familiar with Wisconsin offensive linemen, drafted Ryan Ramchick there in New Orleans. So that could be a good option for the Broncos. A couple of uh, guys there that the Broncos could be targeting on the offensive side of the ball in round three. That's going to do it for us. For Eric Dallal and Sidney Jones, I'm Phil Moore.